Welcome to a PP video. If you guys like this PP, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Enjoy. What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another PP video. Guys, today we are taking a look at all the operator mods in the Black Ops 4 beta. Before we get started with the video, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and share with all your friends. Guys, we are trying to hit 300 subscribers on YouTube, so if you guys can do that, that would be fan tastic So let's go ahead and get started with the video. Alright, so the first weapon we'll be taking a look at is the Vapor. The Vapor's operator mod is the Bayonet. I try to get a couple clips of me running around with the Bayonet and, you know, just knifing people, but I think it is probably just used for those panic knife moments and just trying to get away or if you run out of ammo just go shank them or something like that that's probably what the bayonet is used for it's a pretty good little attachment but it does take up three slots so that's up to you guys if you guys want to use that the next weapon on the list is the Maddox. Maddox's operator mod is the firing unit. The firing unit seems like it's a small burst of rapid fire. You know, it seems like it's a good weapon really up close and you know, you can get multi-kills with it. But fire range, it's actually quite difficult to use. You kind of have to use it like a burst instead of like an automatic. But other than that, I really think that it's a good close quarters attachment. Alright, so the next weapon is the GK5. The GK5's operator mod is the long burst, which is basically a four round burst. Personally, I don't think the burst does any different. It feels like an automatic anyway but I think they added the burst so they can get some long range shots whenever you're using it and um, it still feels like a really good gun anyways. Alright so the next weapon is the Spitfire. The Spitfire's operator mod is the Wildfire. It's basically rapid fire on steroids. The freaking rapid fire on the Spitfire is so ridiculous and then when you add the Wildfire it's even more ridiculous. Like it's too much to handle but it is a really really good close quarters weapon. Alright so the next weapon is the Cordite. The Cordite's operator mod is the Belt Feed. Probably one of the best attachments for an SMG, especially if you're going to be running around and doing all that kind of stuff. The Cordite's belt feed is so beautiful. There's no reload on it, there's 600 bullets, and it's so freaking good, man. It is probably one of the best attachments on the weapon, and it kind of feels overpowered, honestly, but it's pretty good. But there is a recharge to it, so it kind of balances it out, but it does feel really good using this gun. Alright, so the next weapon is the auger. The auger's operator mod is the two round burst. Honestly, the two round burst actually feels really good and it fits very well for this gun. It kind of makes it feel like the XR2, except you can't really put grip on it, so it's actually not feels like that at all. <laughs> but um, it's a really good weapon. It's better used with the two round burst instead of the single shot, but that's just my preference. Alright, and the next weapon is the ABR. The ABR's operator mod is Burst Acceleration. By far one of the most overpowered and overused weapons in the game currently is the ABR. The Burst Accelerator makes it pretty much a fully automatic weapon and it's pretty overpowered, not gonna lie. But it's a really good weapon. If you guys want to use it, it's probably the best one in the game. Well, I guess you guys won't be able to use it because the beta's already ended. But yeah, probably the best one, so grind for the ABR first and yeah, let's keep going. Alright, so the next weapon is the Swordfish, and the Swordfish's operator mod is Burst Count. It just gives it an additional one bullet in the burst, and honestly, it does not make a difference for this gun. This gun needs about six bullets to kill someone, so you still need to burst someone, and it's honestly not that great of an operator mod. Alright guys, so the next weapon is the Titan. The Titan's operator mod is the Suppressive Barrel. Suppressive Barrel, I didn't get to read what the description was for it because I didn't get to unlock it, but I did get some gameplay through the heist game mode, and um, I honestly didn't feel anything. I, know, I thought it was a, more of like a suppressor, but it didn't sound like a suppressor, so I couldn't really tell what the operator did. And um, yeah, that was it, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, so the next weapon was the Koshka. The Koshka's operator mod was the Speed Center. Speed Center was the most overused thing as well. I did not know that this was even a part of the game until I saw someone use it. And basically, gives the player a really small hit firing ridicule or whatever the hell it's called, the hitbox or whatever it's called, and it is pretty insane. I didn't get to use it, I was not good at sniping at all, but I mean I did get a couple good clips, but it was really hard for me to use because I'm not used to the snipers, but uh, yeah, and honestly it's a very overpowered attachment and I hope that they reduce it somehow or if they just put something completely different. Alright, so the next weapon is the Strife. The Strife's operator mod is the Tactical Knife. By far the funnest weapon to use in the game, and it is so cool just to literally run around knifing people and just pistol sliding everybody. It is probably the funnest weapon in the game control. for sure. Alright, I know this is not how you pronounce it, but the Mazu. The Mazu's operator mod is the Skull Splitter. By far the craziest operator mod that is in the game right now is a one shot to the head 
and it is insane. It is the coolest thing, and I didn't even have any attachments on this besides the skull splitter in this gameplay, and I still got one shot kills. It was so good, and it was awesome. I really loved the pistol. Alright, and the last weapon in the Black Ops 4 beta was the Mog 12. The Mog 12 was the Dragon Breath Operator bot. The Dragon Breath didn't have a single shot, but I also know that if you get damaged by the fire, you cannot heal with it. So, it's a pretty good system there because it kind of bounces that out. It's still a two-shot shotgun, but the player will not be able to heal after that shot. Alright guys, so thank you guys for watching. Be sure to tell me what's your favorite operator mod down in the comment section below. And don't forget to share all of these videos with your friends, your family, your dogs, your cats, and everybody possible so we can grow this channel to 300 subscribers. Alright guys, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.